All right, so we're playing Ascension, but every single round, something's going to change. I'm putting effect stacking on as well as no repeat combo, just because it's a small map and it's fairly easy. Well, I say small, but it is just kind of an easy map, to be honest. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> when a player loses 300 plus points, perks will randomize their locations. There is Jug in the spawn. That's actually really cool because the last time we did this challenge, or well, the cause and effect mod, we did it on Verrucked and it was having that round one as well. Quite cool. Uh, oh god. Want to avoid that. I actually have fast mags on my starting pistol. There's a way you can like code it in. I forget exactly how, but it's pretty cool. Got a nice cherry fizz camo. Also, yes, if you're curious, I am using the boy client. I'm just uh, at this point, like sometimes Black Ops 3 will just crash for standard version and I'm just fed up with it. So I'm just going to say fuck it and use this. When a player loses a thousand plus points a random perk is gained okay so you're telling me if i buy a door oh this is 750 though damn we need to make some big boy purchases this was 1250 okay this door will be perfect then oh yeah mule kick is where widows would normally be that's that's so trippy now we actually need a gun of some kind so maybe we'll buy the rk5 on the wall first before we go ahead and do anything goofy all right that's the round when a player earns 100 plus points player's ability to slide will toggle well that's just crazy isn't it oh and i got dead shot daiquiri oh boy of course I suppose I can't complain, it's free. Oh, Quick Revive is here now. <laughs> okay, then. Yeah, it's just going to be constantly changing, which is interesting. I guess we'll just go for the next door whenever we uh, get the points for it. If I could find the last zombie, where the hell is it? Oh, and I can't slide because <laughs> I earned too many points. Oh, here he is. There we go. Now I can slide. When a power-up spawns, a random zombie dies. I mean, that's just going to help the round go by a little bit quicker, I suppose. So how much is this door, then? Please tell me it's like... Okay, it's a thousand. Mule kick. Am I just going to get all the worst perks? Oh my god. The saturation. Holy shit. I forgot ascension literally blinds you. <laughs> oh, we got double points. Hell yeah, we kind of need that. Let's go for a spin of the box. We got the HVK. Not bad. Pretty solid gun. This cherry fizz camo is so goddamn gorgeous. Oh, and we're leveling up. I forgot the perks of the boy client, bro. Been a while since I've used it, honestly. The only reason I stopped was because of the whole, like... It getting taken down by Activision or whatever. But you can still play solo, you just can't play the online servers. So I'm just going to use it for my solo games. And we got speed colon, not bad. But wait, we're not going to be... Oh, and it's mule kick anyway. This is so trippy. Oh yeah, and HVK is our mule kick weapon. Interesting. So we kind of just need to hope that we spend enough points to uh, get Jug randomly now. <laughs> oh, here's Jug. Oh, Jesus, someone's going down. How much is this door over here? Please tell me it's not 750. Oh, it's 1,000. Let's go. We got Widow's Wine. Now, we could always just purchase guns off the wall. That works too. Oh, here's Jug. What the fuck? So weird just seeing Jug, like, all the way around the map. Can we lie down by it? Oh, yeah, we can get the points. Okay. Let's open this door. Please double tap. I mean, I'll take it. When a player loses 1,000 plus points, an earthquake occurs. Oh, boy, I just got to stay winning, don't I, huh? But let's... Vesper. Stamina up. And we've got every single perk except the jug. What? <laughs> really, game? Just typical. I suppose I can't necessarily complain when we're getting, like, pretty much every perk by round six. Oh, good God. I just realized monkeys exist in this map. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. We're going to have to fight for this shit. If you don't know how Ascension works, the monkeys that spawn in on the special rounds, um, they attack perks and they steal the perks. So the fact we have so many is actually quite bad. That's fine, dude. No, what's the worst that could happen? I suppose we're about to find out whatever this last zombie is. When a power-up spawns, ability to slide will toggle. Dude, it's just making my slide toggle. There's another one on as well. I forget which one it was. I think it's if we earn like 300 plus points. Oh, here we go, dude. Oh, God. Where did it land? Over here. Oh, Monkeys! Get the fuck away! And I don't even know which perks they're going to because they're all different. Oh, this is such a nightmare. Oh, they're taking quick revive. Wherever quick revive is. I think it's up there, isn't it? Come on, come on, come on. Where is it? Huh? Monkey? Wait, it says it's taking quick revive, but it's not. Wait, it's in the spawn. Oh, it's glitched because it thinks that quick revive is over there. Wow, I didn't know that was actually how they would interact. That's kind of interesting. Get off my stamina up. There it is. Ooh, max ammo. Okay, that wasn't as stressful as I thought, but it's going to get worse the higher round we get. When a player reloads, random player is slightly moved. Oh, boy. Oh, I just, like, nudged very slightly. Okay, I can deal with that. Well, if we buy the Cuda... Here we go, Juggernaut, finally. 
Took bloody long enough. Ah, uh, now Mule Kick is in this corner. Leveling up the Cuda as well. Yeah, I mean, the boy client is just so good. I think there's still a way that people can download it. Uh, I know Mr. Telexify did a video on it. I don't remember exactly how, but he basically just has the files publicly available. If you want to play solo and just... It basically just means that you can play Black Ops 3 on PC completely safely and smoothly, which for me, that's the latter half is like extremely important because recording, you know, I can't exactly record shit quality gameplay. I was having frame drops and stuff when I was recording previously. All right, that's the round. When a player loses a thousand plus points, gain a hundred points. What? So we just get 100 points back? Okay. It's like reverse tax, I guess. Well, let's work on getting these landers done so we can get pack a punch. Oh, here it comes. Hey, what's up, bro? All right, first one down. Two more to go. Oh, God, hello. All the zombies in existence. Fucking taking my widow's grenades. Can't slide again. Dude, it's so annoying. Every time I try and slide, it just won't let me. Lander is refueling. Oh, typical. There we go. Right, now we're on the second one. I feel like we've gone through most of the Black Ops 3 maps now for uh, cause and effect. I want to go through every single one. But I also have some really interesting video ideas, which I want to try out very soon. So if you guys are getting a bit bored of cause and effect, I don't think you are because, frankly, a lot of people are really, really interested in these. And I love them still. But I am going to spice things up, get a bit more variety in the content. I am 100% going to be recording this video idea I've got over the weekend, and I'm pretty excited to share it all with you. All right, we've done two of the landers. One more to go. Thank God for stamina up, bro. Being able to run around the map so much faster. Open this door. Aha, uh -huh, yes, the earthquakes. Ah, oh, Mule Kick's actually in its normal spot. Oh, and then there's just Quick Revive chilling over here. Here we go, call the lander. Now we can actually pack a punch this round then. It's only going to cost us 250 points. All right, there we go. Lander's done. Ah, round's done. When a power-up spawns, gain 10% of your total points. Okay. So the more power-ups we get, the more rich we'll get. Let's go and turn on this rocket. Boom, rocket launch. Oh, fucking Jesus Christ. I was just trying to look at the rocket, dude. Go for a spin of the box. We might as well. If we can get something a bit better. No, we got a fucking Elkar 9. Oh, there we go. Rocket is on its way. And that means Packet Punch should be open now. Gotta get through the corridor of death. Oh, fucking move out the way. I'm losing all the widows. Hey, here we go. What do we want to pack a punch? Um, let's do the Vesper, honestly. Just kind of feeling it, you know? I don't usually pack a punch really fast firing SMGs because they're kind of not that great. Because they lose ammo really quick, but still, it seems to be shredding. Hey, there we go. Prestige Master level 53. Pew, pew, pew. Earning camos as well. Screw it. We'll spin the box again. If we could get a Thunder Gun, that'd be pretty cool. We got an RPK. Oh, yeah. Does it have the camo? It had it in the box, but it doesn't have it here. I tried to put it on using like this. I guess it's a glitch kind of thing, but anyway. When a player earns 100 plus points, ability to sprint will toggle. Oh, my God. So now I can't slide. I can't sprint. <laughs> At this point, just take my legs. Oh, and we got bloody monkeys. Oh, hello, bastards. What's up? Where are you? Fuck off. Over here. I see you, motherfucker. I heard that one behind. Oh, Jesus Christ. I don't know where they're going. Oh, there's one. I don't see the one quick revive. It's actually back in its normal spot. Hello. Oh, hello again. It's two of you. Are you around here, maybe? I don't see it attacking any of the perks, which is interesting. Ah, here you are, motherfucker. God, the monkeys are annoying. <laughs> When a player loses 300 plus points, speed is randomized. Oh my god. So, sprint, slide, and now my speed. So everything about my movement is just getting completely dicked over right now. That's just, that's just brilliant, that is. Well, there's a carpenter, so let's see. I mean, it's 200 points, but if I get a headshot at the same time... Oh, yep, I can't sprint. <laughs> no sprinting allowed. Cool, cool. Can't slide either. Oh, this is just brilliant. I'm just spamming the buttons. Nothing's happening. Now I'm crouching for whatever reason. Oh, it's losing points. Interesting. But let's say in theory, I go and make a purchase. Let's buy the cooter off the wall. How slow am I going to be? Oh, I'm, I'm kind of like normal speed. When a player takes damage ability to sprint with toggle. Dude, they just don't want me sprinting. Interesting though, because this one is all about the movement. I haven't had this many movement ones stack up like this. They're really trying to get me to go down, huh? Or just camp, I guess, is the option. Gotta say, I absolutely love the RPK. The fact they added it into all the Zombies maps on BO3 is pretty dope. Like, not just on the Zombies Chronicles ones either. They added it to, like, Derizendrak and Shadows of Evil. Every map. Nice bit of variety. 
Oh, we got a max. Hell yes. Yeah, we're just getting so many points. Oh, and the Widow's Wine Grenades, I think, count towards it as well. I would love to be able to go Pack-a-Punch, but I can't fucking sprint. Oh my god, let me sp There we go. When a power-up spawns, orientation slightly changed. Oh my god, we're so fast now. Oh yeah, our speed definitely changed. Give me the pap. Orientation's no biggie. Oh, well, now I'm slower again. Actually, I kind of want to uh, repack a punch it, see if we can get faster. Oh, look at this! Here we go. <laughs> what the fuck? Look, I'm just... I'm the Flash, bro. I'm the... <laughs> Yeah, you want to try and stop me from sprinting? Well, I can just walk really fast now. I always thought it would be cool if you could just, like, custom change your player speed before you start up a game. Things like that, you know, change the health, change the speed, change the starting pistol and stuff. I know other games like BO4 and Cold War kind of lean into that, but it would have just been a nice toggle to have on BO3, you know? Where the hell is this last zombie at? Oh, here you are. Last one just walking. Oh, the speed. Damn it, the speed changes at the end of each round. When a player earns 100 plus points, spawn a random power up. Okay. Which it's just, it's always when a player earns or loses a certain amount of points. Oh, fuck. I heard one of them. It's over here. Oh, hi. What's up, bros? Annoying motherfuckers. I hate these goddamn monkeys. Oh, I see you. Go away. You want my quick revive? Yeah, you are. What the hell? <laughs> Wait, it's. Oh, because I earned 100 plus points? Demo! They're taking stamina up. Uh, I'm assuming that's still this one then. Get off! Go Get off the goddamn thing! You, what just happened then? Well, I think I stopped it. I don't know where the max is going to be though. When a zombie dies, active gun loses a bullet. I'm assuming it means loses a bullet, but that's a brand new one. I haven't seen that before. So let's say in theory I kill a zombie with one bullet. It's going to actually take away an extra bullet. Oh, yeah, yeah, it takes it from the reserve. Okay. Oh, there's, there's a power up. There's another one. What's happening, bro? My game crashes whenever I get too many power ups, so I have to actually be careful because that seemed to happen on the Rooked, I believe. Although we weren't using the boy client. Oh, hi, double points. What's up? Oh, an insta kill, a nuke. Okay, I'm just going to break the game at this point. Oh, my God. I literally called it, dude. <laughs> I got a fatal error. Yeah, it's just if you get too many power-ups, it does actually crash your game. Wow, the more you know. I mean, hey, we saw some brand new cause and effect stuff. We had fun. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out this video on screen. YouTube says you might like it. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one.